So let's go ahead and add in a few more mid-tones, a few more darks, and um, try to get this as close to being finished as possible. Um, I'm, I'm working with a very limited palette, so um, there's not a lot of colors to remember. It's just flesh and shadow and saving your highlights and strengthening your darks. This is uh, uh, Windsor Yellow, and I'm going to go back to putting the Opera Rose on top of that. And and painting around the lights. I can let this flow right into that collar. And then I'm going to add in just some water in between my lights and darks so that I have a smooth transition from light to dark. So I want to soften this edge and I am encouraging this to flow back up because I don't want a real strong um, edge there and I want to strengthen the chin. Same colors. And I'm looking for shapes. Generally in portraiture, if you get the shapes right, you will get a likeness. So it's very important to get the right shapes in. And you do that in your drawing when you are first drawing it out. And you have to look for shapes and lights and darks. Now I'm looking at my photograph and this side of the face is a little light. So I want to add a little bit more color, especially here on the outside of the face. Um, and by adding a little more color in here, this is going to round this side of the face out. My yellow is mixing in with my pink on the palette, so I need to clean that up and so that my opera rose is as fresh as it can be and so I'm going back to my mid-tones softening my edges I want to go ahead and add a little more flesh above the glasses and in the area of the eyebrows and on the side of the head. Linking my shapes together. And I think I can pull this over a little bit further and strengthen this color around the highlight. And I want to add a little bit more opera down that side of the nose, that right side of the nose, as well as in here and here.
Let's add a little bit of color in the hair with cobalt turquoise light. And I'm going to add in a little opera to create a purple. And I want to go ahead and put in some eyebrows and the, uh, uh, the eyelashes. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of French ultramarine and burnt umber with a little alizarin crimson. And while this is wet, I'm going to, uh, with a not so loaded brush, hint at the eyebrows. Now you can do this dry and then soften them, or you can do as I'm doing and do it wet into wet. But eyebrows are also best understated and softened. So remember that when you're painting your eyebrows on your subject, you want to be sure that you don't go overboard. One of the uh, things that I get asked from a lot of my students is what makes my daughter look 15 when she's 8. And a lot of times it's too dark eyebrows. So um, you want to be real careful with that. Um, they are not as dark generally as they appear in the painting. It can make um, a child or uh, a person look um, very stern or older. So I can always go back and strengthen those up. Um, so it's best to uh, start on the light side with them. Let's go ahead and put in a lash line. I like to go across the eyes horizontally. And then if I see any uh, lashes that go up uh, vertically, then I will put those in. Um, so let's do the other side as well. Generally, I like to soften the lashes on the bottom side so that it appears like there's a shadow um, because lashes do often cast a shadow. Now I'm looking at my portrait of Joe and it's concerning me that that highlight is so large and it's because of the glasses. So I'm going to just correct it and make it more um, even with the other side. And I can go ahead and add a little bit of more French ultramarine and burnt umber to the outside of the eye. Remember to keep the inside of the eye lighter, and that gives it that glass-like look. Um, we need to add a little bit of um, beauty lines down the side here, and the way to do that is with your flesh. Just get up on the tip of your legend and pull it down. And you start with flesh, and then you can use a purple over it to darken or deepen them. And, but first you have to soften 
your edges. And then you can go back in when it's dry and add in the purple. Uh, we can always go back in and darken areas. Um, I'm going to add just a little bit more dark shadow and wrap this up. with alizarin and French ultramarine. You can also use French ultramarine and cobalt blue. Let's, let's do that. I'm going to go all the way across the ear and I'm going to pull in. Now it's lighter here, so I want to not, I want to avoid that area. And let's go back to the Alizarin Crimson French Ultramarine. It's more transparent. So a few darks here and there. And this is what creates the roundness and the form. By adding the shadows in gives it that three-dimensional look. Giving some purple under here. And we talked about adding the purple for the darks and the mustache. Could also use a little purple in here. Let's shadow this side a little bit more. And you can bring in the purple in the lines around the eyes and the face. And let's give a little edge here for the glasses and soften. That area and little purple for the brows and you can bring some purple in here softening my edges still and rounding out this side as well. 
with purple. And there's a nice little dark right here of the shirt. I just want to hint at that. You can drag it down into the other part of the collar. And we'll do that on this side as well. Nice, strong, dark, right on the edge of the shirt where it meets the neck. Just add a little water and let's see. I want to give a little bit darker edge right here where the ear meets the face. Go back into the eye here, Get a little bit more dark. And add a little bit stronger dark right in this section for the nose and soften it. And on the chin, purple also. Little purple in this fold. And wrap it up with a little bit of purple I'll show you how to put it in between the mustache uh, hairs. Darkening those, those areas up. Just painting around the hairs and the darks. And I think that's as far as we're going to be able to get it. So we're going to wrap up right there. And thank you for joining me painting Joe Miller.